Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today we will continue uh, solving logical problems, one particular logical problem for today. And um, this is this problem is part of the course called Mass Plus and Problems presented on Unizor.com um, together with many other problems uh, classified as logic, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, etc. So this is a logical problem number 11. So, I do suggest you to uh, use the website unizor.com for uh, watching this lecture because every lecture on this website has a textual part which is basically like a textbook and uh, so you can just watch the lecture or you can read the same um, uh, problem uh, as, as a text. In many cases I present solutions as well so it's very useful actually if you will not only watch the lecture but also read the text. Also, well not also actually, primarily what's really useful is to solve all these problems just by yourself. Even if you don't solve it, you still have to spend some time thinking about the problem. Before you uh, uh, get the solution from either the lecture or the textual part uh, it's very important because that's the purpose of the whole course, actually, to develop your analytical abilities, abilities to solve problems. That's what's the purpose of um, math education as I see it. Okay, so back to the problem. Now, um, consider um, we have a situation of epidemic, and uh, during this time people are trying not to get close to each other, just in case. Now, here is the problem. You have a row of 11 seats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 seats. So how many people can accommodate this row of seats if um, they don't want to sit near each other? Well, obviously, this is where the people should sit, and there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and five empty places in between. Now, well, let's assume this is something like a bar stools, and customers are coming into the bar and take their places. Now. Considering it's epidemic, everybody wants to be as far from other people as possible. So whenever next person comes, he is choosing the place as far from those who are already there as possible. Now, here is the problem. Where should barman point to the first person, the first who comes to the bar? in such a way that there will be the maximum people sitting at the bar. Well, because obviously the purpose of the barman is to accommodate as many people as possible. But at the same time, he has to preserve this distance. So what's the best case is this one. Six people, five empty places in between. Question is, which stool should be taken by first? customer so that others which are coming after that and trying to be as far as possible from all uh, from all people who are already there so this particular kind of step by step filling of these bar stools will lead to the maximum accommodation now the solution to this problem i would tell you the truth was very unusual to me quite frankly but let's just try and see what happens. For instance, the first person takes the first stool, which seems to be reasonable, right? Okay, so the first stool is taken. That's number one. Okay, what happens with person number two? Well, he sits as far as possible. This is as far as possible. So this is number two. Now we have number three. Number three should be as far as possible from anywhere. 
well there is one point actually uh, this one right it's 4 to this and 4 to this so this would be number 3 okay so far so good right Here. how about number 4 you see number 4 should be either one of these or number or, or, or one of these well it doesn't really matter so he he should choose one of these two places because he cannot take this one or that one because that would be near near one or near three same thing here so it's either these two middle ones or these two well let's just assume this is number four but that's actually it number five will take something one of these two and that's it because any of those empty seats are near other people so nobody can sit there so we have only five people we accommodated we have two seats near each other empty seats which is definitely worse than in this case in this case we have only one seat in between the the, the taken ones so this is not good now let's consider a different case Let's say we will take the first one, we'll take the middle one. What's happening next? Well, ne next would be number two will have on one edge of the row, and number three will be another. And we basically have exactly the same situation as before. The fourth one should be either one of these or one of these, and then we will have, let's say it's this one, then we will have two seats in a row empty which basically prohibit this would be number five and that's it again five people so there should be some other solution to come up with this particular with this particular goal of sitting arrangement right so what is it well now here I would like to actually, instead of just giving you a solution, obviously, I would like to kind of give you a certain understanding how this solution can be come up with. And that's kind of a typical in mathematics. Let's go back from the solution which you have to obtain. Let's go back step by step and see where the beginning actually is. So this is analysis of the problem. Remember, analysis is just going backwards always. So we know the goal. So how can we come to this goal? So what is the previous step? Well, let's just think about this. What can be the previous step? Well, uh, the previous step would be obviously the one where we have one less filling. So let's say it's this one. So this is good. This is taken. This is not yet taken. So that was the previous situation. If this is a previous situation, then the person who comes will take this because this is the only available seat, right? Now, okay, fine. What's the previous situation to this one? Well, the previous one is probably the one which either this or this situation is available. Let's say this stool is available. So what happens in this in this case? Well, the next person would take either this one or this one, which is uh, empty space on both sides, and we will come to in this case in this case we will come to this situation, right? So that's reasonable. Okay, excellent. Um, what is then can be the the, the, the previous position, again, previous to this one. Well, 
previous to this one would probably be this one. Now, in this particular case, the person who comes would choose this particular seat because this is the furthest from others. Okay. Now, how can we come up to this position? Well, to this position we can come up, let's say we can empty this one or that one, probably that one. So what happens next? Uh, I mean, this is empty. In this case, the next, pe the, the next customer would take the farthest from all others. So now, what I'm basically telling is that if we will take this one only as the first one, then everything else would be according to this plan, which may be with certain modifications, but basically this should be the first one. Okay, let's just think what would be next. Well, the next, let's go back. Well, the next will be probably this one, right? This one would fill it. Okay. What would be the next one? Next one would be this one, which is the first, the furthest, right? Three here and three there. The next one would be either this or this, right? So let's say it's this one. Then the next one would be again in between this or whatever. I mean, it can be changed from both sides. So eventually we will come to this. So most important is let's fill up this one. And after that, the next uh, customer who will take the furthest seat from all others will inevitably be, uh, eventually will, will come up with this particular result. So again, from this case, this is the furthest. Now, when these two are filled, this would be the furthest, right? Let me just again start from the beginning. From this, we will go to this. From this, we will go to this. Right? From this, we will go to this one these are already filled. From this, it's either this or this, so let's say this one, so we will go to this one, okay. Then, then the next one is this one, which is the furthest, and the last one would be this, because again it's in between these two. So that's basically would be the hierarchy. This is number one, this is number two, this is number three, now this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, now this is still one, this is still two, now the fourth will be this one, right? Four, this is still one, three and two. What's next? Next is this one, so that would be number five. This is three, this is four, it's already taken, this is one. And the last one would be number, number six, which one? This one probably, this one would be number six. Because it's basically available. This is not available yet. And this is not available yet. So if we will go backwards, that would be this sequence. Let me start again. First, second, 
So first and second are preserved. This will be the third. First, second, the third is preserved. The fourth can be either this or this. Well, let's say it's this one. Doesn't really matter. Um, or this one, actually. But it's, it's exactly the same thing, because it will always leave only one space in between. So let's say it's this one, fourth. And this is number two. And the fifth will be this. Or this, again, doesn't really matter. It, any sequence. In this case, it's this five. This is one, this is four, this is three, and this is two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. So this is basically something which um, we can come up with. Now, obviously, exactly the same kind of solution would be if instead of this one, you will choose as number one this. So number three, seat number three, this is seat number nine. So it's all mirror, mirror image uh, from another side. What's important is to have two at the edge. Because if you will have one here as the first one, situation will be exactly the same, just reversed mirror image on, on, on the other side. The, the soup number two would be on this case, etc. Again, there are different possibilities, but what's important is to have two seats at the edge left, and number three or number nine should be filled as the first customer. So whenever the first customer comes, the barman, if it's a bar, bar stools, should point to either, uh, either number three or, or number nine. That would uh, basically assure that the total number of people will be six, not five. If everybody, whoever comes, would choose the seat which is as far from others as possible. And again, what's important is not to have two empty seats in a row, because if you have two, two empty seats in a row, you will have only five people sitting. We need only one. And to assure this, we have to start from number three or number nine seat out of 11. Okay. So that's basically the result of this analysis. And uh, I was saying before, it's kind of unusual. I mean, if you will think about this without any kind of analysis, you would probably say, okay, probably the, the left one or the right one or the right in the middle seat should be taken by the first. But in, in this case of 11 seats, that's not a correct solution. That would accommodate only five people if everybody would try to be as far from others as possible. Only number three and number nine seats as the first ones would lead to correct result to all six people sitting at the table, uh, at, at, at the bar or whatever. All right, so uh, what I suggest you to do is uh, go to the website unisor.com, open the course Math uh, Plus and Problems, choose category logic, and this is logic number 11, you will see it. Click on it and uh, just read the textual part of the problem and then start from basically this type of thing. Do yourself exactly uh, w whatever I just did on a piece of paper or wherever, okay? And see that only this particular case leads to correct results. Try some others. I tried the leftmost or the rightmost or in the middle as the first one and it's not uh, the, it's not a good beginning it, it leads only to five people sitting try some others just try exactly the same way as i did instead of number three and number nine choose some others number 10 for example see what happens and you will see that in this particular case you will not actually succeed you will not get the right result, uh, six people sitting, you will still have two seats uh, empty in a row, which is definitely uh, the, the wrong thing. All right, so that's it for today. Um, I, I do suggest you to look at this particular uh, problem on the website and do this exercise I was just talking about. 
Thank you very much and good luck.